Hello, YouTube family. Auntie is here, and whew, there's a lot of beefs going on. It's not cute not knowing. We have curls. We got scoop. We got hugs. We got a weekend edition that I do. I do a weekend edition, so check it out. It's fancy for those who say we want pictures. Well, you're getting pictures on that weekend edition put together by LaShawna Simon. Let's start with Monique. Oh, gosh. Why do people get in their own way? She is blocking her blessing. This feud between her and D.L. Hughley, which shouldn't have even have been a feud because the promoters who hired you for that Detroit show have lied to both of you. They're trying to pull Steve Harvey in and Steve Harvey said, uh-uh, don't put me in this. I'm not the problem. I am not the problem. Uh, Monique and her husband are back to doing their videos where they're blasting a lot of people. Um, she brought up some things, um, personal hurtful things about D.L. Hughley, his family, decisions that D.L. has made. Just, just, it's just not necessary Focus on being happy. Mo, you're getting back in and people are giving you work. You don't want to start these feuds. There is a reason why people were like, mm, there's a reason. And you could be your own worst enemy. And you can definitely get in your own way. Blessings can come to you when you let go. Oh, it's hard to forgive and forget, but to have these feuds and this anger and this, people are starting to back away and not be supportive. I'm going to tell you what I was surprised about in a lot of the comments, because you guys be riding hard for Mo, but a lot of people said, okay, we tired of this by now. What, what, who, who is the problem? You can get in your own way in life. You always got to remember, some people like, well, why can't I get a blessing? Or why can't this happen for me? Are you getting in your own way of your blessing? When I saw her last week, I was just so happy. And I'm like, yeah, it's got some good things coming. But good things don't come your way. When you just continue to want to be in the mud and get dirty. Leave these beefs alone. Focus on you and what you got and where you're going. It, it's just, it, it doesn't make any sense. And, and Mo, this, is, this ain't the way to go. It's not. And this coming from somebody who loves you. This is not the way to go. Don't block the blessing. You just got the blessing back. But the feuds with other comedians and just focus on you and your greatness and what you got to do. Shame this situation has gotten worse. Vivica Fox is speaking out against Jada Pinkett Smith. Vivica has worked with Will, Independence Day, Jada set it off. But she says that she was surprised by the comments that Jada made because she said Jada knows why Will did what he did. Will there ever be a reconciliation? I tell you one thing, I don't think Jada expected the backlash that she has gotten because she is involved in all of this and it's coming from everywhere. But Vivica Fox, very surprising that she would speak out on this and say that Jada's comments weren't cool and she knew exactly why. Let's talk Michael B. Jordan and the movie Creed. Creed 3 hits theaters in November. Now, when we found out about the making of Creed 3, it said Sylvester Stallone would not be in it. A lot of people were surprised because Sylvester Stallone started the Rocky franchise, which is now extended to Creed. Creed was the young son, young son of Apollo Creed. Um... Him and Sylvester Stallone were best friends, their characters, after being bitter enemies, but they had this deep bond. And then Sylvester Stallone came along to guide his son. And this one, Michael B. Jordan directs. It's coming out in November. If you remember back to the Academy Awards, just, just a few years ago when the first Creed came out, Sylvester Stallone got a Best Supporting Actor nomination, and he won. 
But when he got up there and he said that he forgot, but he didn't thank Michael B. Jordan or anybody. He didn't thank nobody. He accepted his award. And then later he said, oh, I forgot. Could it be something that stems from that? But Sylvester Stallone's family is speaking out about him not being in Creed Three. The brother Frank Stallone said he hopes it is the biggest bomb in movie history. There could be hurt feelings, and there could be hurt feelings because this franchise is going on without a Sylvester Stallone. I don't think they'll ever not give credit to where it started, but this is just a continuation in the Rocky saga. But Sylvester Stallone's family is salty that he is not in Creed Three, which hits theaters in November. Uh, Jonathan Majors plays the boxing villain. You got Felicia Rashad back, Tessa Thompson, but Michael B. Jordan is directing this movie. WNBA star Brittany Griner, wrongfully detained in a Russian jail, is finally going to be able to contact and communicate with loved ones, but they're going to be monitoring everything that she does. Now, you're letting her communicate, but when are you going to let her out? These charges was like, really? For real? Then they detained her even longer. Brittany Griner should have been left out. She should have been let out. They're going to communicate and monitor every correspondent. Y'all got to work on getting her out. And I pray that she is not very different when she is finally released. Did we mention Kirk Franklin's son? He's out of jail. Courtesy of Kirk Franklin. Kirk got a son out of jail. Carry On was initially arrested because they thought he murdered a woman because he was in a dead woman's car. Then they found out that wasn't true, but then they found a ton of warrants that the young man had had. Uh, Carry On is out, and he went right to social media and thanked his mother and father, who is... Kirk Franklin. Nene Leak says she ain't out here stealing on nobody's man. You know, she's being sued by a woman in North Carolina. They still got a law that you could sue the other the other person. You know, if you think they broke your marriage up. Because the woman is saying that Nene and her boyfriend hooked up while he was still with his wife. Now, Nene's boyfriend is separated and divorcing his wife, but the wife is like, uh-uh, I'm still suing her for $100,000 because y'all started when we were still together. But Nene Leak says she ain't still nobody's man. P Valley returns tonight on Stars. Then it moves to Sunday. So it's a new era of television. And we had to wait a long time for Uncle Clifford and Mercedes and all the other characters. Pastor John Gray. He has the Relentless Church in, in South Carolina. I know Oprah tried to throw him a bone and give him a show, relationships. And he was one of these rising televangelists. John Gray can't stop cheating on his wife. For nothing. He said he changed. I'm reformed. I'm not going to do it again. Now, side chick um, has come forward and she got a video. When y'all going to learn that y'all can't trust some of these women in these videos? And they tape everything for clout and to make you look like a clown, which he does time and time again. John Gray, you got to stop cheating. Now you're going, your, your ties are going to dry up. <laughs> They're going to leave the church. They're not going to believe in you. You can do that. Oh, I've changed. I'm reformed once. But when you keep cheating on your wife, and she is so patient with him, because, you know, most women would be like, I'm out after the first time you cheated on me. But this is like the 100th time. She must have the patience of Job. But John Gray caught up in the side chick drama. Leave a comment. Let's pray that Monique can get it together and stop. The latest video with her husband, it was just, and and she, she's so righteous about what, what she's doing and, and how she's standing up for other people. But no, Mo, watch, watch yourself. Watch yourself. Do for you. Because a lot of people are like, this is too much. This is it's not the way that I wanted it to go.
I hope you guys have a great weekend. You can keep up with a lot of stuff I do on Instagram. There's a big event in Philadelphia called the Roots Picnic. And I'm going to be down there with the food trucks and just showing different things. So there's a lot happening. And wherever you are checking in from, thank you. And I hope it is a great weekend for you and yours. Don't forget that weekend edition. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture.